guys Jenna here back with another video so this video I'm going to show you guys how to install Cyanogen Mod 14 on your PC so first you have to have at least a 8GB pen drive that must be fast enough to boot your Cyanogen Mod 14 now plug your pen drive in your PC and after plugging it just download these two files the Cyanogen Mod 14 zip file and the Rufus now the, both the links will be given in the description box below. So after downloading, extract the Cyanogen mod unofficial zip file. Now right click it and then click on the extract to then wait for it to extract. After extracting, copy the ISO file that you extracted from the CM14 folder to the root folder. Just move it and then now right click the Rufus application and then click on the Run as Administrator option and then click on No. And now just follow these settings and then you will be good to go. So instead of the free DOS option on the bottom, just click on that and then select ISO image and then click on the little CD icon there. ISO image and then click on the CD icon there. Then select the ISO file that you extracted. Click on open and then click on start and click on OK. OK. Now wait for it to complete this process. Now after finishing the process, click on the close button and now insert your pen drive to your PC and then click on the boot mode option and then click on the live option boot your signage mod 14 from the pen drive itself or you can also click on the installation button to install it to your hard drive on your PC so now since I have now I don't have any partition on my hard drive to install this I'm going with the live option so wait for the signage 14 to boot up this may take some time so after booting it up let's finish this first setup process As you can see, I have successfully booted into the Cyanogen Mod 14 on the PC. Everything is working fine. And you have to remember that this is not the official build. So wait for it. This is an official build. As you can see, you have also root access here. This is an uh, Android version is 7.0. Android Nougat. And then you can enable developer options. From there, you can give root access to your ROM. And pretty much everything is working in this ROM. So that's it for this video guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you guys, see you later.